Tasers were introduced as non-lethal weapons to be used by police to subdue fleeing, belligerent, or potentially dangerous suspects who would have otherwise been subjected to more lethal uses of force, such as a firearm. Since teaming up with police forces in 1999, Taser has had widespread success. A 2009 Police Executive Research Forum study states that officer injuries drop by 76% when a Taser is used. Let's visit Officer Aaron White in the field with Officer Kevin Rafadal, who will tell us more about the Taser in this episode's segment of How's It Work? Thanks, Brian. We're back for another segment of How's It Work? And today we're going to talk about a piece of equipment that I'm frequently asked about. It's called the Taser ECD. And I'm joined by Kevin Rafadal, our training officer at the Edina Police Department. Kevin, thanks for being on the show here today. Thank you. We're at the training center uh, in a room where we do our defensive tactics training. And we're joined back here by our friend, the, uh, the, the silver taser target. And in a few minutes, uh, I'll have you demonstrate. We'll fire off a taser uh, at the target here. Um, but tell me a little bit about it. What is a taser? Taser uh, delivers an electrical charge with low amperage, and it, uh, we, we strive to control the muscles on a person, an, a combative, uncooperative person. Sure. So the idea is not to, to be painful necessarily or to, to hurt people, but rather to, to control. control them. Why don't you first show us the taser itself? As you can see, I'm wearing it right here on the belt, and I'll take it out here. This is uh, the, the handheld taser. There's a f cartridge on the front here that... Uh, we can take on or off. Uh, there's a white light on here that lights up the scene for us. It also uh, emits a red laser that uh, will mark our target for us. Sure. There's darts that'll come out here. It'll deploy out uh, up to uh, 15 feet, and then we can also uh, deliver a uh, impulse very close range if we need to. Okay, and so each cartridge is good for one deployment. Correct. And then you need to reload and. We can reload or we can deliver what's called a drive stun up very close. Okay. As promised, we got the target. Can you show us how to fire the taser? I can. All right. I'm going to start with some eye protection. Then we've got our target set up across the room here. You can see there's a red dot that I'll emit down there. Also have some sights on the top here. And uh, when I pull the trigger, it's going to go for five seconds after it emits two probes that'll hit the metal target and you'll hear the electrical charge. Okay, and I'll make a command, taser, 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 so the other officers know. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> then I'll remove the cartridge here and reload if I need to. Well, thank you for the demonstration. Obviously a powerful tool, something uh Newer technology, but something that's uh, saving a lot of lives, really. I mean, it's not just the, uh, the bad guy that potentially this allows uh, control of, but it's also been used um, in the case of suicidal suspects and, and other situations, hasn't it? It is. It, it is a painful uh, when it is applied, but it is also the propensity for injury is very low. And so it has been very successful in our department, and uh, it's a tool. It's one of many things that we've used to try and control violent people. And the officers that carry this tool, including you and I, have uh, both experienced this. We've been tased and, uh, and have, uh, have, have come out okay. We have. So, powerful tool. Thanks for demonstrating it today. It's uh, Officer Kevin Raffidal, the training officer here at the Diana Police Department. And we'll return to Brian in the studio. <laughs> 